Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? Chris Rod, Sun City Long here, making another video here. You know, I've been so busy this year, um, I forgot to level my own lawn. Get that? Imagine that, right? I've done leveling across the board throughout El Paso, and you know, the primary reason why I haven't gotten to this, I've just been too damn busy. I've been doing sod installations this year every single week, which is a lot different from last year. That's a whole nother video. So today's video, how to level your land. Okay, how to level your land. How to level your lawn. <laughs> We're gonna be leveling the lawn. Um, let me see if I can get some shots of some, some uneven spots. I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's just, you know, when, you, when you're sitting back and you're looking at the lawn, that's when you can really notice the high spots and the low spots. But right here, you know, we've been working on this area for a couple years now. And I only do maybe a half inch every single year. But the point that, you know, that we want to ensure that everybody that understands is that you shouldn't do a whole lot of leveling every single season unless your client and you want to go ahead and add that organic material and add that sand and get it raised up that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but when you're mowing it because i remember back when i took over this lawn the mower like bumps the wheels all over the place but you know we wanted to get it nice and smooth so today we're gonna be making a short video oh babe what are you doing i'm trying to shoot a video do you mind but, you know, here's a low spot right here. It just, it's got this little indentation in the ground. And right over there, same thing. But over here is really smooth. And we've known this for a while. It's just, it looks great. It feels great. Everything's even. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but you know, it just looks so smooth. So another how to level your lawn today though. I know I talk a lot and I've made a lot of videos about what kind of material to use when it comes to leveling your lawn. The key takeaway though, is it, do it doesn't really matter what you use, but we just have some industry standards. And one of those standards is that depending on how many inches you're raising your the level of your soil or you're trying to uh, amend but primarily level if you're breaching that half inch rule okay you have to add organic material okay that way you get that growth rate through the actual dirt whether it be topsoil screen topsoil or compost screen compost or a 50 50 ratio which is what i like to coach is a 50 50 ratio of sand and screen compost okay so today i went ahead and got some um some coarse this is fine sand okay guys see how it holds its, its form there this is fine sand it's screened it's um also known as mason sand uh here in el paso all the golf courses get this sand they all order from the same distributor um to level the putting greens okay and th that's one of my goals is to get my lawn as smooth as possible my girlfriend she loves to go she used to golf back in the day and so I i'd like to give her that opportunity you know we just started doing a little croquet in the backyard <laughs> and the, I, I was noticing how the ball rolled and it just oh man i, I couldn't i couldn't handle it plus i'm eventually going to be using a real mower in our backyard so i wanted to get it down as smooth as possible so again we're going to be using some fine sand and i know I, I coach a lot about using a 50 50 ratio of organic material and sand but the reason why i'm not using organic material is because my lawn we have to understand i've been treating my yard for since 2016 so we're going on five years of applying organic material so if I went and pulled a core right now, you're not gonna pull up El Paso's red sand, uh, which is the soil system we have here. You're not gonna pull up a, a core of, of sand. You're just not, because I've got so much organic matter in there. It's gonna be a good loomy soil. And I can go ahead and do this approach of leveling my lawn with fine mason sand. You guys stay tuned, enjoy the video.
All right, so I'm not even close to done yet, but I wanted to give you guys the gist of how to level, some of the basic processes, and this is as basic as it gets, okay? If you guys got some ruts, some rivets, and you guys are trying to, you know, smooth everything out, okay? Now, there are more extensive processes besides what I'm doing today, and I'm not getting into detail about that. What I wanted to show you was me leveling my lawn with a fine or mason sand or usga class 2 sand and some of the processes that i take during these uh leveling processes again if you wanted to take it to the next level you can aerate your lawn you can do a core aeration you can do a liquid aeration as long as you loosen up those soils or remove some of the existing uh, material that you're trying to depending on whether you're working with a sandy soil system a clay soil system a loomy, you can do all that stuff. Moreover, you can even fertilize if you guys want, okay? You can throw down some fertilizer to help push that growth through the sand material, okay? The reason why I'm not choosing that, choosing to not do that today is because I've got a thriving Bermuda lawn. Um, my next fertility application isn't till next week. I'm already applying some humic acid and some aeration, which I did a week ago. Um, you know the programs there is inevitably my point um granted next week i should be fertilizing will i do it or not based on the conditions of the soil or whether a majority of this bermuda grass is pushed through the sand or not i will make a decision then okay and as you can already see this was a high spot a majority of this green area this was a high spot so you don't see a lot of sand here right now but these were all my trouble spots in my low areas and i'm going to continue using my leveling rake to smooth this out because what i don't want to have happen is i don't want these stripe this rays i don't know if you can see this line here and that shadow that the sun is forecasting over i don't want that there because it's going to create a bump so we're trying to smooth this out as much as possible this is the process this is as basic as excuse me as basic as lawn leveling gets if you
that's why I need a row mower. Right, guys that's it kind of a lengthy video maybe maybe not depending on how much i edit but how late can you level your lawn that is the key question i wanted to answer one of my subscribers and uh hopefully this does answer we're in the end of may about to kick off june and i leveled this a thursday two thursdays ago today is now saturday and the experience has been pretty interesting for the most part and i mowed it today i was going to mow it on thursday but i was just too busy from work but i mowed it for the first time today it was totally overgrown so i went ahead and bagged those clippings and put those in the compost pile and um as you guys can see back here we still have some areas where the sand is still filling in or i'm sorry the bermuda grass is still filling in where the sand areas are and what i did want to point out and i'll point this out in the early part of the video is that sand line right there and you'll see in some of the pictures you'll see in some of the pictures where they're more uh, apparent okay but the grass is pushing through this how late can you level your lawn you can do it as early as you want in my opinion and you can do it as late as you want in your in my opinion okay you just have to figure out whether um your comfortable level comfortableness level on whether or not you can sit back during the growing season while you're having all your parties and withstand things like this okay now i didn't apply any fertilizer prior to my leveling job or after my leveling job because i'm not due for another fertility application until the first week of june i'm doing a different fertility program this year uh, that I'm separating every 30 days apart. But um, had I done a fertilizer application, I'm sure this Bermuda grass would have pushed through all that sand by now. But again, I'm okay with it. I can sit back for the majority of the part, enjoy my view, um, and let the Bermuda grass do its thing, okay? So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on leveling your lawn and um, Y'all stay tuned for the next video coming up. Got some additional things in regards to my garden beds.